let's just get this out of the way. You're going to be really sad when this set is over. You are. I'm sorry. It's just the effect I have on people. I can tell right now some of you love me. You don't even know why. You just do. I can also tell right now a few of you hate me, and you know exactly why. That doesn't matter. You're all going to think about me. It's going to happen. Maybe tonight, maybe a decade from now. You'll be restless, unable to sleep. Toss and turn, you'll take more Ambien. Nothing will work. You go stare out the, out the window, take a gander at that big bright moon, and it'll hit you. Huh? I miss Sean. <laughs> you stare at that big bright moon and think, I wonder if Sean's out there somewhere staring up at this same big bright moon. I'm not. I'll tell you that right now, because I got sleep apnea. Got to wear a fucking mask. <laughs> got to wear a mask with a hose that isn't long enough for me to go moon gazing. <laughs> exactly. I'm a snorist. The mask prevents the snoring from happening. Right? I have to wear it. And apparently, if it comes off, of my face, like, like it, when, I, when I wear, I look like an unconscious fighter pilot. That's what I look like now, in, like, a, like a fighter pilot with fucking narcolepsy. Taking a quick nap to gun down my nightmares. And allegedly, if the mask comes off and you're in bed with me, it sounds like you are now inside of an F-15. Now, I don't want to ask my fellow snorists to identify themselves here tonight. I, I, I mean, I watched you as you come in. I know who you are, you know what I mean? <laughs> I saw you all as you came in. It's not you that I got a bone to pick with. It's your significant others. If you're here now, if you live with a snorist, fucking deal with it. Get, you know, buy him a CPAP or get some goddamn earplugs. You signed up for it. Because know this, elbowing them awake every time they wake you up with the sound they cannot control, it's cruel. It's cruel. You're a monster. You're as evil as someone who would scold an autistic kid for their love of prime numbers. Is that offensive? It's supposed to be. That's why I said it. Like... Before I got the CPAP, my girlfriend treated me like I snored on purpose. <laughs> like it was a hobby that I loved. And it was just massively inconvenient for her. She would give me so much hell about it. Sometimes I would just defend it sarcastically. Like, wait, do you not like this sound? <laughs> so you, wait, you don't like falling asleep? next to the gentle sounds of a grizzly bear with a sore throat singing a Tom Waits song <laughs> through blown speakers on board an Amtrak train going full speed down a rusty track through a hailstorm right as a 747 full of empty glass bottles crashes into it as it's crossing an iron bridge over a lumberjack competition. <laughs> The moment they all simultaneously fired up the chainsaws, remixed by a dubstep DJ. <laughs> oh, you don't like this sound? But I've worked so hard on it for you. 